Have you ever looked in the mirror and asked yourself, why do I look ugly, fat, unworthy, useless? Because I do that too. Sitting by myself and wondering I want to glow up. The only bliss I feel is from the things that are in real I want to know Say, you only have one month left, so make it work. Starting now, let's have both mental and physical glow up by the end of December. But now Trust, believe. Step 1. Write down your goals. Why, when, how are you going to do this? Get a beautiful journal, use colored pens to make it bright, and write down your plans. Make it you, make it pretty, put in pictures to help guide you to your goals. Write inspiring quotes because research shows that by doing this, you are 42% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down on a regular basis. Step 2. Change your toxic habits. Checking your phone right after waking up is very toxic as it creates distractions by stacking you with new messages, social medias, TikTok videos, and this often creates a feeling of stress and anxiety. Let's say, you were supposed to wake up and brush your teeth, but as soon as you look at your screen, you couldn't stop scrolling, checking, OH MY GOD! <laughs> texting, shopping, emailing, and look, you wasted more than 10 minutes of your day. Let's not be her. So, as soon as you wake up, ignore your phone and drink a cup of water. Research shows that Drinking water on an empty stomach helps increase energy level, boost your metabolism, strengthen your immune system, aid in weight loss, and fight toxin by flushing waste out of your body. Read a book, your unfinished novel, because my teacher forced- Just kidding. Just do it. You can do some exercise, yoga, do some morning stretches, take a bath, prepare a breakfast, learn how to cook. Or you can work with cooperative multitask by reading a book while you relax your calves, listen to some music while you work out. This can save time, increase productivity, and prevent procrastination. Shut down your phone before going to bed to prevent radiation and distraction. Lastly, sleep early. This is the most important task because it helps keep you healthy, young, have good skin, and helps control your body weight. I'm currently editing. As you can see, it is already 12, 16 in the morning. I'm sorry if I broke the rules. Step 3. Hygiene. Firstly, make your bed every morning. This will make you realize that you have accomplished the first task of the day, making sure you feel proud, productive, and motivated to start your day. Trust me, the following task will be much easier once you have done this. Wash your bed sheets. Apply Vaseline on your lips. Trust me, I tried a lot of lip gloss products. They just don't really work well on me. Here's how chappy my lips used to be. And look at how gorgeous they are now. Pluck your eyebrows, not all of them. Take a long warm bath to help relax your mind. Use a loofah. Mine is a natural loofah. Not only they can help exfoliate your skin and remove dead skin cells, making your skin smoother and brighter. It can also stimulate your skin blood circulation. Try using sugar scrub. It helps brighten your skin, fight skin aging, and exfoliate too, making your skin smoother. Try making your own body bombastic. All you need is half a cup of brown sugar and oil. I use coconut oil to make it smell nicer and sweet. And lastly, two drops of essential oil, which is optional. After showering, apply lotion or body butter on your skin. Body butter helps to moisturize your skin, reduce wrinkles, soothe skin rashes, sunburn, and contains beneficial antioxidants. While lotion smooth calluses, rehydrate skin, replenish rough spot, and relax your mind. Wash your face, put on some face mask, clean your nails, paint them, try a new hairstyle, wear a mask when you go out, keep a distance, sanitize, wash your hands, and stay safe, guys. Step 4. Learn new skills. Yes, we're all stuck at home. Sometimes we feel useless, scared, unproductive, lonely. Our worries are eating us up. Instead of doing nothing during quarantine, try learning something new. This will keep your mind engaged and body active. Not only you can gain your experience, perspective, it can even keep you healthy throughout the lockdown. And also, it will distract you from constantly checking your phone. Maybe bake a cake, bake cookies, breads, or learn to paint, draw, cook, stretch, 
learn how to play an instrument, dance, or do a song cover, upload a TikTok video or an IGTV, get crazy, insane, and don't be afraid of what others think of you. If they judge, they're probably jealous. So do anything that will make you happy and excited. Trust me, all the schools and loneliness isn't helping us. You will feel so much better. And don't worry, everything will turn out fine. Step 5. Get active. Quarantine can cause a lot of stress, anxiety, and depression. Stay active to help you remain calmer while protecting your health during this tough time. It doesn't need to be intense. Maybe go for a walk to the park or a run. Dance, do some light workouts, or try skipping. Sometimes we might feel unmotivated, tired, or just lazy to work. I don't feel like working out right now. I'm just so lazy. Come on, Dad. Just keep pushing and you will get your dream body, your dream health. If you do have those days, don't be afraid. Put on a cute hairstyle. This can boost up your motivation because when you look good, you feel good and confident, which makes you enjoy while exercising. Or put on a cute attire. Listen to some bomb music while working out. This will work a lot. Trust me, you might fail sometimes. And fail. And fail again. Yes, it is frustrating, hard, and painful. But don't give up. Keep pushing, keep going, and you will succeed. Have fun, dance around, celebrate because you did it. And I am very proud of you. Step 6. Food. My relationship with food is never good. I will eat and eat and eat and I couldn't stop. I just feel like eating today. Sometimes I still do. I tried switching them with healthier food, but trust me, I ended up eating more. I will try my best to help you and guide you down your glow up. Now, let's firstly trick your brain. By using a smaller plate, your mind will think that you're eating more. This is how big the differences are. Don't worry, I ate more than this and make sure you ate enough. Secondly, drink one glass of water 30 minutes before meal to help digestion. And this will also make you feel fuller. You can also drink green tea to increase metabolism or mint tea to improve digestion. Thirdly, eat slower. By eating slowly, you will have better digestion and feel fuller faster. Always make sure to eat a balanced diet. No, not just wedges, chicken breasts, and more wedges. If you want that Starbucks strings or burger, have it. Enjoy yourself. It's alright to eat this. Satisfy your heart and balance it with greens, fruits, and healthy food to satisfy your body. It's alright to eat what you crave and it's okay. And you are loved by me. The last and most important step, take a break. If you feel tired, stressed, just rest. It is okay to be unproductive because taking a rest is productive too. You rest yourself, both mental and physical health. This is so adorable. Like, Stay positive and enjoy every moment. Spend time with your family. You'll need it. If you feel down, talk to your friends. If you can't meet them due to COVID, give them a call. Tell them how you're feeling. <laughs> the true ones will always be there for you, no matter the circumstances. It is normal to have blood things. It is beautiful to have acne. And it is okay to cry. Pick yourself up and remember to enjoy every single success. Believe in yourself and remember that everything takes time to grow, especially the beautiful ones.